Othello Island, Colombia. Reservation die. It's happening. I'm on my way. Good evening. I'm Terry Nutters. Following the collapse of Scam Towers last week, there are a number of people still recovering in hospital. There were no fatalities, although some of the injuries are serious. An investigation into the disaster suggests that the cause of the collapse most likely came from complete negligence of the proper requirements for building a scheme. Other reports suggest that the scheme building was intentionally built as a scam and never as a safe place for investments, pensions and most especially people. We sent our reporter Brian Cornfoot to investigate the scene. Thanks Terry. Here at the site of the collapsed building, we can see the level of distraction. The building collapsed from its center. Jim Workingman is the chief inspections engineer here. L let's see what he has to say. Jim, what can you tell us about the incident? Well, Brian, this was a disaster right from the start. Even the original plans for the building failed to meet basic regulatory and compliance standards. It's as if this place was built to fail from the very beginning. And do we know who is responsible for the accident? The decision on who is responsible is a complex one. Who takes the blame? The builders or the regulators? The FCA, Federated Consolidation of Apathy, are looking into this in the way they always do. A very light and superficial investigation which really does not reveal much. Nobody's willing to expose what's going on here. There have been numerous attempts to speak with a baldy law, but he remains unavailable to comment. We have heard rumours at the newsroom that there are more scheme buildings in a similar state. From your investigations, is this likely to be true? We cannot confirm that as yet, Brian, but yes, there are growing concerns that this may not be the only scam tower that has been built without regulation or compliance. There also seems that there's not only the Baldy Lord who's responsible for these schemes. Thank you, Jim. Well, <laughs> there you have it, folks. One scam tower has fallen. There may be more to follow. Certainly, there have been violations and neglect of due process in these scams. Where are you off to, Han? I've got to go and talk to some people. I could be late. Don't wait up for me. OK, darling. Be careful. I will. Love you. Love you too. Bye, kids. Bye, guys. How are you doing? I'm good, Robin. You? Me? I'm fine. More concerned for the people of this world. It looks like the Baldy Lord and his cronies are really making serious trouble for a lot of people. And there is much more to be revealed. And I've been working on a summary. You've done a lot of work. If my estimation is correct, at least 69% of these are scams. That's enough to bring the whole world to a screaming halt. People can't sustain this level of corruption and theft. It's going to devastate thousands. We need to do something about this, John. It's time to get the team together. I've called Ruby. She's on her way. But I can't get hold of Jack or Suli. Any idea where they are? Nope. Guess we will have to call them through the intuition line. Yeah, I'll have the double burger with the lot. Cider fries and a large Coke. And I'll have the apple pie with cream for dessert. Thanks. Hey, speak of an ass and he's sure to pass. Well, I had a hunch. What's happening? Something going down? Yeah, there's a lot happening. Scam towers collapsed last week, and it seems that there are a lot more scamming towers about to fall. Not only that, but there are some more of these scam schemes being rolled out all the time. The Baldy Lord and his cronies need to be stopped. They have taken so much already, and the greedy bastards are after more. Suli, where are you? Okay. Well, keep cool, John. I'm out of town right now, but I'll be back first thing in the morning. Meet you at the control centre. Sure. We should all be here by then. Jack, Robin and Ruby? We need all hands on deck. It's going to be like old times again. Don't worry. We can handle this. See you in the morning. 
So we are here together again. It's good to see you all. You know about the fall of Scam Towers in the financial district. Well, it brought a lot of people down with it. Thousands of people and hundreds of thousands of investments. Some families are destroyed. They've had to sell their homes. They are under huge stress and there have been suicides. We have done what we can for those victims, but what we now need to look at are all the other scams that are out there. They're all over the world. I have put this summary together, but I'm still finding more of these scams all over the world. They promise amazing opportunities for people to transfer their pensions and get big returns. But these scams are run by a bunch of crooks. We know the Baldy Lord is one of the main perps, as well as Desdemona. Hmm, Desdemona. Yep, yeah, she's out there in all the expat hotspots. Just met her recently in Monte Carlo. I thought she was up to no good. She runs a troop of financial advisors, I have heard. Like a bunch of dancing monkeys they are around her. She is all about the commissions. And I bet the Ziad is on this too. The Grim Reaper of the Death Bonds. He's one scary man. It's a lot about the commissions, but the big question is where are the funds? These schemes are crashing and leaving nothing for the people on the streets. Lives are being destroyed. We need to pull something off big to stop the Baldy Lord and his team. So saving funds and saving people, yeah? Just up our street. But these guys are very shady characters. Yes, and they mainly work through these IFAs who are willing to do their dirty work for them. Worst kind of crime, one you get someone else to commit for you. The Baldy Lord is bad. And this is on a huge scale. It's right around the planet. The scammers have the most convincing shop front. Looks legit and smells of money. Transferring funds to offshore schemes. People losing fantastic defined benefit pensions and left with next to nothing. Smells of dirty money, you mean? The point is that they put on a good show. One thing we don't know is where is the Baldy Lord and his crooked friends? Well, like I said, I met Desdemona in Monte Carlo. I heard that Ziad is in Somerset somewhere. But no Baldy Lord. He's somewhere under a pile of other people's retirement pensions. So, where do we start? We need to draw them out, make them admit what they are doing and fireball them. Fireball them? Ah, you mean the ten standards, right? Ten standards of what? Basically, it works like this. Robin and I have been working on the ten standards, which are basic requirements of the pension transfer process. Now look, the majority of pensions should not be transferred, especially when it comes to DB pensions. But there are circumstances where the pension transfers work, perhaps where the holder is moving abroad, has more than one pension to combine, or perhaps it's just an investment. One way or another, all pension transfers and investments need to be able to meet the 10 standards. And really, that starts with the actual transfer advice. To transfer or not to transfer. Okay, so what you're saying is that if we could fireball all of these IFAs, then the Baldy Lord, Ziad and Desdemona wouldn't have operators. Oh, so I don't get to fireball Ziad directly. <laughs> hey, let's keep this civil for now. If this continues, we just turn up the heat on them. So tell us more about the 10 standards. Robin, bring them out. So basically the 10 standards melt down into two aspects. They are the requirements of these advisors. That's the regulation, qualifications, the fact find and the risk assessment. At the moment, the advisors are flaunting the regulations and qualification requirements. They fudge with reliance on networks on claiming that the regulation of one country will cover the client from another. A lot of what advisors do is illegal. The risk assessments are a joke and fact finds are very often ignored. So that's where the rot starts. Then we have the second layer, which is all the more complicated. It's how the schemes are managed. The funds are often put into bonds, which essentially mean death to the funds. We do suspect that Ziad is heavily involved with these bonds. Also, the second layer includes how the investment policy is managed. It should be an ongoing project to manage the investment, but it is often just left to a rogue advisor's commission appetite. True, and furthermore, the client needs accurate and real updates. And hey, do they declare all of the charges made to the funds? You're on it, Ruby. This is a big part of these scams. There is no disclosure on how the charges and commissions work. It is often hidden in the print and presented in very unclear language. So this is an operation of smoke and mirrors? Yes, and it is all held together by the compliance standard. That is the requirement that all the other requirements have been met. 
that the advisor is compliant, the scheme, the investments and the funds. Then we need to look at suitability. Because most people with DB pensions are not really suitable at all. Man, this is one big fireball. So, why do people look for these transfers? It's a game where everyone wants to gain, but if it's too good to be true, it is most likely not true. We need to get this fireball together. Fire it at the industry and help the public tell the difference between the good guys and the bad guys. Or we save these schemes and set them straight, put them on the right track and save the investors from becoming victims. So, here is what we are thinking. Ruby, with her superpowers in administration and risk assessment, you would be perfect to work with fact finds and risk assessments. Then we need someone to take over regulation and qualification. Mm -hmm. With my connections with Ziad and some other investment strategists, I can take on the investment policy and insurance bonds. And I am the reporter then. Disclosure and updates and management of complaints. You got it. And compliance is between us all, but I will take the lead on that. So it is all about getting all these elements, melting them together, and getting Ziad, Desdemona, and the Baldy Lord exactly where it hurts. With this fireball, we are actually going to move a revolution through this entire industry. Pension, Pension Finance, Finance Revolution! revolution.